Well, hello and welcome to Widnes in Cheshire in the northwest mm. of England. And as you can see, we're at the Stobart multi-modal port, uh, port and it's October 2019. The sun is beaming down on us with this autumnal strength, a little bit of warmth coming through and it's a very still day, hardly a breath of wind which is making it very pleasant. So I've stripped off now, got rid of the hat, got rid of the gloves and scarf. I don't really need them and there's plenty of activity. It's not exactly bumper to tail but it's steady and for those who like uh, Stobart's well they can fill their boots on this second volume taken today. So let's get on with it. Let's see what we can see. Off we go. There's a lot of uh, works going on in connection with the new Mersey crossings. The new bridge has been open for some time now, but they, uh, the old one's been done up into a uh, toll road, toll bridge, and the roads associated with it are uh, being finished off now. I think uh, should be coming up for the reopening of the old bridge soon. I noticed all the uh, toll prices have been posted. So they've got you whatever you do. You can go on the old one or the new one. And they'll get their two quid out of you if you're in your car. If you're in a big lorry, it's eight quid. There you go. We're trying to keep the flow going on the shots. You can't always do it. Sometimes you just hang on playing that uh, truck film roulette game where we leave it running and hope something comes along. And uh, usually something in sight and uh, moving around slowly. We don't want to give you, uh, make you seasick, whizzing the camera around. Very bad practice as they say in filming circles. Not so many uh, foreign trucks here. It's uh, like his British counterparts, a wave, a thumbs up, a smile, and it doesn't cost anything to be nice, does it? And that's the uh, thing about a hobby. We want to enjoy it, and we want to share it. We want to share our sense of uh, fun, interest, surprise, continuity sometimes, for some people the sense of order, they love the uh, numbers and the names, some people like the colours, this applies in many many types of uh, hobbies and the Brits really do hobbies well don't they, we really do Nobody else does hobbies like we do. And preservation is our thing, isn't it? Goodness me. Nobody keeps as much old stuff and does it up as we do. Whether it be aeroplanes and ships, buses, trucks and cars, motorcycles and pedal cycles, they're all out there, polished and cherished. There we go. For you uh, train fans, a snatched shot as it fairly silently glides over. It's all electrified. Back in the uh, day, it would have been served by the London Midland Scottish, and of course, it would have been steam. I grew up in Sussex. And we didn't have much steam there by the time I was growing up. Before the war, as a mass conversion over to uh, electrification, third rail electric system. 
and I think in my childhood days it was just the uh, line out to Aylsham which still had a steam train on it and eventually the steam train only came out uh, on a frosty morning just to uh, de-ice the tracks and we used to call it the ghost train and you could just about see it from uh, my mum and dad's bedroom window My throat just giving out a little bit. I was off filming in Indonesia a few weeks back and on the aircraft I picked up a nasty cold, had a sore throat and a cough, streaming nose, it went on for ages and I seem to uh, still have the remnants. That's the trouble with air travel, isn't it? You're shutting that little container up there and the germs, if there are any, just go round and round until you've got more than your fair share and then it's all there to ruin your trip nice thumbs up and wave from the driver and as I often say we expect nothing less why would we? Truckers the world over are invariably friendly and we very seldom have any hassle. I think I've only had any minor hassle about two or three times in all the years I've been doing it uh, in the UK. I don't think I've ever had any hassle overseas. And it's funny how these things stick in your mind because you don't remember all the good things, um, which of course most of the time. But uh, I remember I was down at Monmouth and I had sort of some uh, livestock driver who definitely had a problem with me <laughs> and he vocalised it. Now unfortunately with um, bus drivers that's been a fairly regular, not frequent, but regular occurrence over the years certainly uh, a teeny percentage of drivers but uh, some of the uh, guys that have been drafted in from overseas seem to have some strange ideas and want to implement their view on how things in England should be done on us and of course it's uh, yeah, sort of our country isn't it? we do things the way it's always been done and uh, for those who want to uh, commit threats and intimidation, indeed violence, well, I think we have them labelled as terrorists. And let them beware in our country. Well, how was that for you? Do we hit the right spot with all those Stobarts for you fans out there? 
I may look a little bit dazzled, that's because the sun's right in front of my eyes at the moment. There's uh, cloud gatherings, I'm not sure we're actually going to get a third volume, but while I'm here I'll uh, fire away and you never know, we might just get a little bit of material to uh, pad out the other two volumes. Anyway, we'll give it a go, and on behalf of myself, Dave Spencer and Mandy at the PMP Film Library, thanks for joining us on this further adventure as we explore transport around the world. And of course, we hope that uh, we'll have the pleasure of your company again sometime. In the meantime, that uh, bit that so many of you seem to like, and uh, yes, it's come to it. It's bye for now, and see you all again soon. And I'm off for the moment. Bye.